In this episode, I'm going to teach you a way how to make different kinds of walls. Today we're going to be focusing more on stone walls and their uses. Let's hop into it. Here we are back at our house from the previous episode, but I've reverted the stairs so it goes down instead of up. We're going to be focusing on kinds of walls we can use for the basement. Here as you can see I've dug a little area underground with a one block gap between us and the, well, where the floor would be, the house. Let's look at some ideas. Now, this is a basement, so it's not gonna, you know, look amazing. You kind of want to give a little bit of a, you know, bad look to it, but also not looking just, like, very clumsy. Like, oh, uh, slap some blocks together, done. Uh, well, it looks really well in a basement are bricks. As you see, we have the stone, blackstone, and mud bricks. Which I think do look the best. The other ones are a little bit too bright. These are the ones that look the best. You could use nether brick, but like, I mean, yeah. Nether brick looks great, but I don't know. Looks a little too fancy. Great thing about the stone bricks is it has the mossy and cracked variant. Unfortunately, did I not? Unfortunately, Blackstone, while it doesn't have the moss variant, it does have the crack variant, which is okay, but I mean, it's okay, it just, it can't look old, it looks broken, which we could use. Last is mud bricks. Mud bricks, I feel, blends really well with wood. As you can see, the spruce really went. <laughs> As you can see, the spruce really blends in well with the mud bricks. It's good. If you want to go with that, go ahead. We're going, to, we're going to experiment with all three kinds of bricks today, starting with stone. I've cut a little area here for the bricks. Do keep in mind what block you is going to be your roof, because you don't really want to clip into that. And there we go. We have a complete stone brick wall. You know, Storm Bricks does look nice, but you know, if you give it a little bit of an age, you will see it does look a lot better. Gives it color and theme without being too repetitive. I gotta say, Storm Bricks does look really nice in a basement. You just need to know it's a basement. It's gonna be gray, it's gonna be dark. It's, you know, this is probably a very good look. Next, we have Blackstone. Blackstone looks really good, but it doesn't fit well with bright areas. If you look at Bastions and the Nether, they look good because, well, it's very dark. Even though the Nether is a bright area, it's, it makes it look dark. It's hard to brighten up the place. If you can find a way to make the basement all dark without being too dark for mobs to spawn, good for you. Let's go ahead and add it a bit of an age. There we go. Looking better, it's, you know, it's got a bit of cracks in it, gives the basement a bit of a, you know, cracky look. <laughs> not bad, not bad, gotta say, really? Not bad. Last up is mud bricks. There are no crack variants for this because, well, I mean, it's mud. If it cracks, it breaks. Side note, you can add vines. Unfortunately, if you put them all the way at the bottom, they are going to start to grow. It does give a bit of a mossy look, but it's a little hard to control. Glow Lichen is an option too. Personally, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you do want to give it a bit of a overgrown look, then this is definitely a way to go. I mean, it's also cobwebs, but you know. Now we can get it into more of a broken look, if you want to. But we can also do cool entranceways. Doors aren't really a thing that specializes in basements. If you don't have a basement, basements are basically just like, really, they're, they're kind of like discount garages. Three store stuff, except, you know, cars. We're going to try with an entranceway first. Alright, and let's say this is your entranceway. And let's say this is what you want to add. Great, does work. But you can always add a bit of age to it. Unfortunately, there's no cracked slab, cracked stone slab, or cracked stone stairs. Um, but, you know, they still have a mossy variant. And it doesn't even look that bad. It actually does look pretty good. Because you can enter in without being like, oh, 
It's too small. It fits. That's what she said. I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot Deep Slate was a thing. Luckily, just like Blackstone, Deep Slate, bricks and tiles does have a cracked variant. So there you go. Now it looks kind of, you know, damaged, broken, old. Fortunately, it doesn't have a mossy variant. I really think they should add, like, mossy Deep Slate bricks. That would be really cool. I understand why Blackstone doesn't have a mossy variant, because it comes from the nether, and there's nothing that really grows out there except fungus. But they should add mossy Deep Slate. That should be a thing. Make that a thing, Mojang. And there you go. Just like that. Now I got a bit of an entranceway. It's not symmetrical. God damn it. Alright, there you go. We have this. We're just going to stick with this and move on to Blackstone. Actually, before we do, here is the tile variant. Tiles actually look very nice for the underground. Um, unfortunately, the uh, cracked and normal version looks very similar. There really isn't much crack in it at all. But, I mean, I'm just doing it so it looks a little bit different. And then there we go. Now we have a little open way for each one. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Unsymmetrical. Although actually since it's in a corner it doesn't really need to be symmetrical. This one should be symmetrical. I mean it doesn't have to be. It looks better symmetrical because it's kind of in the center. If you want to put it in the side I don't really care. Go ahead. Same with this one just because they're on sides it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. These three look really good. They all look a little bit different with each other, but you know what? Pick whichever one you want. Really, with either one of these three, you can't go wrong. So, just realized that I was going to do something with the ceiling here, just to show you, to be careful with the ceiling. I uh, realized that the basement clipped outside. Um, in this case, I'll show you what to do. So, I put in a little line, which shows you where the wall goes. Where the wall? Where the... <sighs> Where the floor goes up to, it doesn't really go any further because then we just reach grass at the outside. In this case, we have slabs. If you think the whatever floor texture you have is for the upstairs looks really good for the basement, you can just slab over it and it looks fine. A really cool thing you can also do with uh, basements is put like a giant crack in the wall. And I'm sure you're wondering, well, how do you do that? I will show you. And there we go. Put a couple of cracks in the walls. I'm sure you're wondering how I did this. If you look at my inventory, you'll notice I have stairs and slabs. Play around with the stairs a little bit, put it into the wall, and you can get yourself a little bit of a crack. I would just say make sure you have some kind of block, if it's exposed, behind it to be something specific. I pick tough because it, you know, it's like, oh, it's like a stony texture behind it. Besides, there's no other use for tough at all, ever. But yeah, at least this way, you know, I got cracks. It looks like, you know, there's, this is an old place. Last thing I'll show you for today is walls you can use. Maybe not the basement of a house, but you can use, in, you know, underground structure. But this particularly, this will be, you know, mine shaft type. Take a look at the mine shaft. What do you notice? You know, it's being held up by wood. It looks like it's holding the ceiling up. So we're gonna give that into this room. So here we go. We got you know a piece of wood holding up part of the ceiling with you know a better looking wall behind it. Eventually, if you fill this place out like that, you can put in chests and stuff, crafting tables, whatever you want in here. Key note: I forgot to make this room symmetrical. Um, Better to make it look symmetrical because then you can you know work around with it better but in this case you 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 uh you don't want to do that because look now that doesn't look like that over there because this will say go out there and no so for this in case we'll just be putting it double in the middle and there you go we now filled out this entire room and it actually does look pretty good like this you got the wood holding it up got the nice tile texture in the back Eventually, you just fill it up with some chests, crafting tables, whatever you want in here. You're good to go. Down here is also a good sign where you can use polished andesite, maybe even granite, or even diorite. Actually, don't use diorite. Do something like this. Put up some torches on the side. And if you look back there, this place is, you know, it's kind of dark. 
but it's also like it's safe. It's somewhere you can put all your stuff after going mining. You know, this is where you get. This is kind of good. I like this. You know, wood holding it up gives it texture, but also giving it that like mining feeling. You can do whatever you want with the sea. That was bad. You can do whatever you want with the ceiling or the floor. Do whatever you want there. The entrance even. Go with it. Well, that's going to be all for today. Um, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.